In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a tab on a Confluence page. First off, let's navigate to the Confluence website. Once you're there, you'll want to click sign in using Google. It's pretty straightforward. Choose your Google account from the options provided. After signing in, you'll be shown a list of projects you're working on. Click on the specific project you need to add tabs to. Now you're in your space, but how do we start tinkering with tabs? You'll look for the more option in the menu, which will drop down to reveal the apps option. Uh, go ahead and click on that. This action will then lead us to manage these apps. So naturally the next step is to click on manage apps. After accessing the apps management page, it's time to install the app that will allow us to add tabs to our Confluence page. Look for an app called Tabs for Confluence and go through the installation process. It's a straightforward procedure and once done, it's time to head back to your space. Click on your space to proceed. Now that we're back in our space, let's get down to the actual page where we want to add tabs. Click on your page to open it. You will see three dots on the page indicating more options. Click there and then select edit. This step brings us closer to our main goal. Once in edit mode, type in slash tab in the command line. This action prompts Confluence to suggest the tabs option. Click on tabs, which will now allow you to start organizing your page content into tabs. Here's where your creativity kicks in. You can type in your tab name and fill in the details or information you want under this tab. This step is crucial for organizing your content in a way that's easy for your audience to navigate. After you've added all your content and named your tabs, it's time to save your work by clicking on save. But before you leave, make sure to click on update or publish to ensure all your hard work is visible to your team or whoever needs access to this Confluence page. And there you have it. You've now successfully added tabs to your Confluence page, making your content easier to navigate and more organized. Remember, tabs can be a powerful tool for organizing your page content, especially if you're dealing with extensive information. Don't hesitate to experiment with different tab names and content structures until you find what works best for you and your team. Hope this guide was helpful and you're now more comfortable adding tabs to your Confluence pages. If you found this information beneficial, be sure to like, subscribe and share this video. For more tips and tutorials, stick around. Thanks for watching.